I think we should do a political episode where we both wear all purple and we can call it Make America Grape Again. I think that's fabulous. Fanta, Fanta, don't you wanna, wanna, Fanta? Don't you wanna, wanna, Fanta? Do you know ABBA? I do. Fernando. I believe my favorite ABBA song would be Take a Chance on Me. No question. Mine is, um, Fernando. What, oh my God, look, I look like an arms. <gasps> People, people are always like, how do you open a jelly jar? I'm like, have you seen my knees? Just because your teeth are white does not mean they're healthy. No! Sometimes they're white because they're dead inside and empty like a shell. Look at white me. and empty like a shell, okay? This person. Hi, I'm that golden retriever who used to shoot basketballs but then lost his leg and is dead now. Trixie Mattel. And I'm that stupid bitch who won't shut the f up. Pass yet. And welcome to... Uh, the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. <laughs> so what are we talking about? Personal hygiene. Personal hygiene. So I want to have a mostly one-sided conversation about personal hygiene. Okay. Because this is more of an intervention for you. <laughs> are you finally going to take a pickaxe to the thick crust that's developed around your face? Yeah. Did you know years? that you can throw your whole body in the washing machine with your clothing? You know what, I've thought about hiding in the washer, like one of the, you know those uh, stackable ones? <laughs> well, pe villains, people, you know, <laughs> uninvited guests. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of that at your house. <laughs> yeah. So drag is gross and disgusting. Oh, have you ever worked at a drag show where like the show director has to hang like a PSA that's like, yeah. Queens, please keep your stanky stank to a low level or you will be asked to not perform in the show. Because I've worked with Queens who smell like cat pee, mothballs. <laughs> You ever gone into the shower with a wig and put a uh, hairnet on? Oh, girl. Have you really? I have had days, just the other day, I was in drag all day and I had a few hours between a night and evening and morning engagement. Do a so I went prince. home and I did this. Yeah. Have you taken this shower in drag? Oh, I sure have. Oh, yeah. I used to do the after a show before the trick. So, but I, I would Tell go. Tell me about the outfit. I picture you <laughs> bony limbs with a turby twist. And I think the song that's playing is like Nothing Compares to You by Sinead O'Connor. And I think you're sitting cross-legged with a coffee cup with nothing in it <laughs> at, a, at, a, at a Dell HP like desktop computer. <laughs> like opening your You've, You've Got, got mail. mail. And you're, you're sifting through headless torsos of people's dad in Boston. Very close, very close. A turtleneck dress straight to the floor. Uh, <laughs> It's full coverage. But I like that these these guys are coming over yeah. and they're like, yes. Yeah. And you're like, you're like a monk. No, they get, but they have, you know, uh, the crotch is always cut out. It's like whack-a-mole. You have the, the areas that need to be exposed or exposed. I, but no, this is the funny thing. I would go in the shower and I would put my wig up instantly, you know, like in a, a banana clip or whatever. And then I realized there's, it wasn't glued down. <laughs> I could have just taken it off. But I felt like a girl. I believe in hygiene. I like to take about two showers a day and a bath. Really? Every, yeah, and I take a bath every other day. You take a, a full bath. blown bath where I sit in bath water up to my neck for an hour. One hour. I light candles. Okay. Do you? No. No. How do you take in water? Easy. No. You just do Who's in water. No, you don't. Uh, okay, I don't. Ah uh, wants to know. Do you drink in water? Dial one for yes, two for no, and three if you want to, but you're the Wicked Witch of the West and you die. It's too much resistance. I'm not looking for a shake weight situation. I'm not looking to tread water. <laughs> you just... Maybe you could, um, you know, make, oh, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you had jets in your bathtub. I want to have that female experience. <laughs> I would want a guy to have hygiene, but not too much. Oh, I'm not looking to sick. go to town on your taint and be like, VO5. Mm. Oh, see, I want, you know? I want that. You want a soapy yeah. experience. Well, because I you like- You walking to the stage. Soapy, soapy experience. I don't like um, eating a butt that's dirty. Yeah. I don't want like, um, I don't want any visitors, but I- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! But like, 
you know, I'd like a little, um, I'd like to be able to take a sample. <laughs> I, I'd like to be able to identify a body. Okay, the, the natural, any natural aroma or whatever is gonna form on the drive over to my house after a thorough shower. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, I, I, there was a bartender that said, guys always say my tastes like a penny. That means blood. That means blood. Pennies mean blood. Oh. Good job, we're gonna say pennies mean blood. Have you ever had a hemorrhoid? Um, I don't really know what that is. In Melbourne, they take um, small pieces of twine and they wrap them around the hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids. Wait a minute. Have you ever had a bowel movement that like was very challenging to push out and then you wiped and there was blood? Only because I'm gonna miss them so much. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta push them out of the nest. The nest being your <laughs> So you wipe it and then there's blood? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Every day. <laughs> well, that's part of what makes um, sex so dangerous is there's a, there's a certain amount of risk involved. There's a certain amount of knowing, caring. Your porno would be there will be blood. <laughs> I, I would like to become one of those homosexuals who has a career dropping fizzy bombs into water and being like, <laughs> bath bomb? That's me when I try to douche in the bath. Okay, that's a bath bomb. I have a cat sifter. <laughs> no. I don't. Oh, I almost <laughs> fell back. I almost fell back. <laughs> and, and old habits. Yeah. I almost fell back into old habits. When I was in beauty school, I used to do pedicures. Because oh, feet, I don't like you that. hate feet, that's right. I, like, I just, I don't like people with my feet like that. But pedicures are the extreme home makeover of hygiene. You know what I, I imagine your feet are? Your big toe is the size, is like maybe a half inch. And then for the, the other four toes, just a little baby button. They're not bad. Let's dig in. Just as I thought. Trash. Oh, that's a nice. Those thing. are pretty. Well, it has a perfect like. You have a perfect slope. You ever get an infected, ingrown toenail? No. I mean, I'm lucky, I guess. You haven't lived. Oh, this is gross. I hardly ever wash my hands. Ah! I have to be there with you. Why? To me, it's sometimes a theatrical experience of like if I know someone else is in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm like, of course they wash my hands. But at certain times, like when I'm in drag and I peed, I'm like, my nails are gonna come off. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, also, my dick is probably the cleanest thing on my body. I mean, it's it's caked in shit. But, but it's, oh, oh my ow, god. Ow. I have to tell you, one time I was doing press at a certain major press outlet. I had to pee so bad. And I sat to pee because I was in drag. And so I pulled down my tights and everything, and I peed, and I peed so hard. And then I noticed, because I had tights on, that none of the pee went in the toilet. It all went down the front of the toilet Stop. bowl, Stop. down my stocking Stop. leg, Stop. down my Stop. Pamela Anderson heel. And so by the time I finished peeing, Stop. I was sitting in a pool of, you could have electrocuted me in this. Stop. And I'm taking paper towel and I'm on my hands and knees, sopping up. So then I walk out of the bathroom and I see someone in the hallway and the first thing I say is, someone peed on the floor in the bathroom. Because what's, wh I mean, that's the only thing you can do is accuse someone else that's to sort of, sort of melt back into the scenery. So then that's I walk true. into the back end of the shoot with just a, a leg covered up with a mask of Trixie Mattel perfume. There's, it's still soaked in pee. Yes. And I just had to go commit. Just be careful when you're peeing, make sure that you are actually in the toilet. <laughs> Uh, when I pee now, I just get right in. <laughs> Hygiene. Try not to pee on yourself. You should wash your hands at least for posterity. Yeah, and don't believe that thing about the first fresh piece of the day on your face will clear up your skin. Have you seen the video of the woman who drinks and bathes in her own pee as a cure for cancer? Mama, that was me. <laughs> Quick side note, one time I was on a long drive. This is before Drag Race. I was driving my 2008 smart car down the highway in Wisconsin, and I had to pee, and I pulled a Gatorade bottle, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I went to pee in it. Yeah. 
and I missed the hole entirely, and I had to get out and use um, the floor mat to scoop out of the car. And then another time, I successfully peed in the Gatorade bottle, and then I forgot that I peed in the Gatorade nope. bottle, and I took a no. sip. No! Yes, I did! I can't believe I forgot about this, too! I you've hate been this sitting show on, because been I get You've been sitting on all these stories. What the I, Wow. Well, it's because I try to be like the the the, the hierarchy here, and like oh. you're gross, and I'm. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, we never did an episode on, so I guess it's all coming out now. Hi, Jean. <laughs> yeah, hi, Jean. Oh, hi, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Hi, Jean. <laughs> Roommates. <laughs> Landlords, rentals, leases, yeah. geeses. I want a goose that lays gold eggs. eggs. A thousand a day. I had a landlord once, and I kind of walk with a heavy, um, I don't know, I guess I let the balls of my feet kind of hit the ground. And so she would always come up and yell at me because she'd be like, I can hear you coming up the stairs every single day. Oh, she was underneath you. Yeah, and she said that I walked too hard. She was like, you're up here stomping because you're trying to make me mad. I'm not mad, mm. I'm just going somewhere. You got five feet? I guess. Flat, but no, small. <laughs> uh. Her name was Deborah. And I remember one time I was on a date. And I had my date at my house. I remember one time he came upstairs. Knock, knock, knock. Wait, his name was Deborah? <laughs> <laughs> no, her husband's name was. Oh, the husband. Yeah. My first landlord's name was Miloslov. Oh, I love that. Yeah, Miloslov. And I remember I was moving in with my boyfriend. We were both like 18. And he was like, well, you know, when people are young and they, they stay together, they break up, they still have to play the lease. And I remember us being like, we're in love. How dare you insane? We broke up. 